Hello, my name is Kelly Weimer and I'm an undergraduate student at the University of Idaho. Today I will be introducing ocean acidification and further extending the definition for your understanding. One of the most pressing concerns of global climate change has been the increase of atmospheric CO2 and how it is affecting our oceans. For the past several decades, scientists have been researching and analyzing our ocean waters and have noticed an alarming trend due to the increased pollution. This trend is that our oceans have slowly increased in acidity and this process is known as ocean acidification. There has been a huge increase in urbanization and with that comes the increase of factories and atmospheric CO2. The ocean acts as a carbon sink for this atmospheric CO2 and absorbs more than a quarter of all the carbon dioxide in the air. The oceans, however, have been taking a toll on the dramatic increase in atmospheric pollution within the past century. The excess CO2 has been collecting in the ocean waters and has slowly increased the number of carbonate ions, which has led to the decrease of the pH of the water. To understand this chemistry, let's recall the basics of acids and bases. Recall the pH scale, a scale used to measure the amount of hydrogen ions in a solution. Acids have a pH of below 7 and have a higher amount of hydrogen ions. Bases have a pH above 7 and have a higher amount of hydroxide ions. Taking a look back at our glory days of elementary school with that classic baking soda and vinegar experiment, you can observe what happens when combining an acid, such as vinegar, with the alkaline baking soda. When combined, they formed an eruption. This reaction was the result of the acidic vinegar reacting with the alkaline baking soda to form a neutralized solution. Ocean acidification acts in the same sort of manner. Seawater is naturally slightly basic, and with the excess CO2 ions from pollution absorbed into the ocean, they react with the water molecules and create an increase in hydrogen ions, which lowers the pH of the water. Although we won't be seeing any explosions from this reaction, this shift in pH has been causing tremendous impacts to organisms and their ecosystems. The increasing acidity of our oceans has been creating harmful consequences for marine organisms. Marine life has been shown to have decreasing metabolic rates and immune responses, but one of the biggest effects of increasing acidity has become coral bleaching. The increased acidity has made it difficult for calcifying organisms such as coral and plankton to form their calcareous structures. Polyps have been abandoning their coral structures, and this results in essentially a coral skeleton void of life. As coral reefs begin to die off, many other marine species will be negatively impacted and the food web around the world will feel the toll of this pressing issue. Since the Industrial Revolution, the pH of the ocean waters have fallen by 0.1 pH units, which is an equivalent to a 30% increase in acidity. As carbon emissions increase, scientists predict the ocean will continue to absorb more CO2 and continue to become more acidic. Estimates of future predictions show that the waters could be nearly 150% more acidic by the end of this century. Ocean acidification is a pressing problem that will require incredibly large-scale changes to prevent the future destruction of the ocean ecosystem. Thank you for your time today, and I hope this presentation was of benefit to your understanding of global issues in relation to ocean acidification.